Hello everybody, welcome to Project Beauty where we talk about project panning and everything beauty related. My name is Jen. I'm going to update you guys on my Paranormal Pantivity Project Pan. And this is created by Andrea from Pretty as a Peacock. <laughs> Please go and check out her channel. She is just so wonderful. I love her to pieces. She's just an amazing friend and she created this incredibly awesome project which I adore. This is like my jam. I totally love it. <laughs> I'm sad I didn't think of this myself. She did an amazing, amazing job on this. So it runs from September 24th of 2022 and it goes till this year, September 24th, 2023. And September 24th is National Ghost Hunting Day. And this is a monthly or bi-monthly update. So whichever suits your updates best, she says do monthly or, or bi-monthly. And then you select six products, of course. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and talk about my products that I'm updating you guys on. The first one is Revenant, a repurchase. And that is, of course, my MAC Prep and Prime natural radiance primer and this isn't like the yellow one there's a yellow and a pink love this so much definitely a repurchase for me we were at 79.7 last update and we're at 78.6 this update i am actually working on other primers and trying to get them completely out of my collection this one i'm sort of extending it as long as i can to go till the end of the project so i have a feeling this is going to be like right till the end or close to it because i'm trying to get out a few other like minier sizes um just reducing the count in my inventory to be completely honest <laughs> so this one is just like one which has a lot of product but i'm trying to get out like five or whatever of the little ones you know so it makes my inventory come down and then we have the Flying Dutchman, which is a product you're doomed to pan forever. And that is, of course, my one size liquid eyeshadow in the shade Everything and More. And I have swatched this on my hand here. It is, it's a very beautiful one, but it's got a lot of sparkle to it. Like actual sparkles, like glitters in there. And I can feel it on my hand. It's, it's a pretty color. Um, I just don't... I don't do a lot of cream eyeshadow, but I think I don't do this one because of the glitter particles in it. It's just not my jam. So I will definitely continue to use it, but I have a feeling this one will be decluttered at some point this year just because of the glitters. And I've used it more than twice. I've used it at least three times, but I have it written down two, two times here. And then the next one is for a seance. That is a product repurchase on recommendation. And for that one, I was watching um, YouTube, what do you call those? Like reviews, but like first time trying or like some, one of the beauty gurus or a couple of the beauty gurus had bought them or um, what do you call them, influencers? Had bought them <laughs> and were just raving about it. And that is the Patrick Ta face palette for 2022. And I adore the colors in here. I do feel like this is incredibly fair. So if you have a deeper skin tone, this is probably not for you. Unfortunately, it's not a good shade range or he could have come out with two different ranges, I think would have been a little better. But um, for myself, these colors work very nicely. I actually have this highlighter on today and it's just a little bit over top of another one. So I, of course, I'm trying to pair through, but I got all five uses on this. So this will be going back into my collection. So that is a rollout. Um, next is the Tower of London, which is a product that makes you lose your head. And for that one, I selected the Floral Street Perfume, the sample, and this is in Wonderland Peony. And it is so good. I actually bought this full size because Valerie um, from VMRT on Instagram was raving about this. And it is absolutely beautiful. Like, probably one of the most beautiful perfumes I've smelled in a very long time. Like, I, as soon as she was talking about it, I had to try and get a sample of it. And I immediately bought a full size. It was like a, a holiday duo. So you get, like, the full size and then the travel size with it. Greatest perfume. If you, if you love a florally scent, you will love this. It's so good. But I definitely tried it. I totally trust Valerie's opinions. And I really, really like that. And then the next one is, oh, so that's a rollout as well, by the way. That one will be rolling out as well. And then the next one is for White Lady, which is a product with white packaging, or the product is white. And for that, I selected the Ula Henriksen Fat Glow Facial. It's P-H-A-T, Fat Glow Facial. <laughs> this is completed. It is totally done now. Uh, I did not hate this. It's totally done. Like, I don't know how... It's, it's completed. Um, I used it, I think it took me two or three times to go through this sample. It's a pretty decent sized sample. Um, 
I don't do a lot of masks, but I didn't hate this. I think it was because it was one of the ones that you can apply and leave, not the sheet mask or the peel. I do not like the peel off masks. And sheet masks, although I have a lot of, I'm trying to get away from that because I feel like it's just such a waste of packaging. But this one was actually really nice to try. I don't know if I would purchase it in full. I just, I get enough mask samples that I don't necessarily need to buy any right now. So that one's done, another rollout. So now we have, let's see. Oh, we have also Screaming Skulls, which is scary or Halloween themed product. And for that one, I had to go with the Bad Witch Club eyeshadow palette from Give Me Glow Cosmetics. I wanted to use this three times, but I have not yet because I do have a lot of other eyeshadows that I am trying to use. This is so beautiful. It is so stinking beautiful. Such a great color story. I love this a lot. It's absolutely stunning. I thought three uses wouldn't be bad at all. I should have had this rolling out, but I'm actually glad that I had these other three that rolled out because I... I don't want to continually roll out stuff so much to the point where I have nothing to roll in because I've rolled so many things out. So I also want to bring in things that I know I can hang on to and maybe roll like one or two things out. I, I don't know if that makes sense to you guys. I just don't want to have like six things rolling out each and every time and then I'm done all the prompts and then that's it. I want to continue this all the way to the end and I also want to have enough products to get me through the year. So. <laughs> That was a lot of me talking for like no reason, sorry. <laughs> but this is such a gorgeous, gorgeous eyeshadow palette and I really can't wait to use it. I just have so much going on with my eyes project pan. I'm really focused on that because in all honesty, like I'm focused on it, but it gives me so much freedom to do whatever I want. So I'm really thoroughly enjoying that project. And then I'm not touching my other stuff. <laughs> the next and first item that I am rolling in is for doppelganger and that is a backup or a double and let me just confirm no i don't have that one in um i have decided to bring in two perfume samples that i also have doubles of like i have these still in my drawer back there um so i want to just get through these two and one of them is joe malone english pear and freesia that sounds amazing it says cologne i'm fine wearing cologne i'm sure let's see Oh, okay. So it says, um, the essence of autumn, mellow, cool, golden, fruity. The top is King William pear. The heart of it is freesia and the base is patchouli, which sounds lovely. So let's just see, let's see what that smells like. Oh, that's so lovely. Okay. Ooh, ooh, that's a lot of perfume right in my face right now. Ooh. It does smell lovely, but I think it'll smell even better once it's had a chance to settle. Because right now it is, woo. <laughs> um, but I also want to bring in, <laughs> I want to bring in the Jean-Paul Gaultier Label uh, Eau de Parfum. This is a 1.5 size uh, sample. And what a gorgeous little picture here. So pretty. And oh, the perfume is sort of like a reddish pinky shade. You can see in the bottle there, but very nice. And does it tell you what the scents are? Uh, vanilla pod, fresh bergamot, and a burst of pear. So two that have pear. I'm very excited to try these two. I've been on such a perfume kick, as you can tell. My little collection up here it is growing, and I'm not mad at that. I love it. Um, but I also want to bring in for Kelpie, product used in bath or shower. And that one, I decided to bring in another mask because I'm trying to roll out a lot of my masks. I have so many that I just don't touch and I want to get use of them. So this one is the pumpkin one from Peter Thomas Roth. It's a pumpkin enzyme mask. And this usually takes me about two or three uses to use. So I, I do use these in the shower. I put them on just before I hop in the shower and then I wash my face off. That's what I did with the blue one like this. And also the um, Ula Henriksen fat facial one. I did it with that one too. And I'm gonna continue to do that with this just because it's so much easier. Uh, I also bounce back and forth between um, a mask just before the shower, or I also use, uh, what is that called now? There's a, I want to say it's summer Friday uh, peeling gel or Peter Thomas Roth for Max peeling gel. Those I use in the shower as well, but because I already have one 
in the shower that's in a project for a peeling gel I thought a mask would be a really good opportunity to throw into the shower as well or like use it just before I hop into the shower as well and you only need to leave these on for three to seven minutes I usually leave them on on the lower end of the side because I do have such sensitive and dry skin in the winter I do have oily skin it's combination but it's it's oily underneath but the top part is dry so the oils come through but my skin is still dry and flaky so gotta love that for me but anyway I want to complete that one and the last item that I want to bring in is for afterlife which is a product past expiration oh welcome to my collection no I'm kidding not everything is past its expiration <laughs> but this probably is um, this one I bought want to say four years ago probably more I haven't even used it I don't even think I've opened it once nope brand new I haven't even been squeezed to the top it's brand new um, and I believe the shade would be relatively okay I think it might be a little bit better for me closer to summertime so I mean even if that's the case I want to use this one 15 times I was sitting here trying to decide do I want to use it 10 times 20 times 30 times do I want to complete it like what do I want to do with this and I just thought you know what just use 15 and deal with it if I want to add more later or I want to roll it into a project at a later date to maybe complete it or something I can do that but I think what I want to do right now is just give myself the opportunity to get some good use on it see what I think about it because currently I'm wearing this one from Charlotte Tilbury it's a little air airbrush flawless one and I don't have that much left on this but it is I can feel it I can literally feel it on my face as I'm wearing it it is the weirdest feeling it's a nice consistency but it feels like it's just sitting on the top of my skin I'm very aware that it's there I'm like if I go to hug my kid I'm like don't touch my face because I feel like it's just gonna wipe right off which normally I don't have that sensation with a lot of my makeup I'm usually just like give me a hug and it's fine because the powder will contain it and I also had setting spray but it doesn't matter what I do this wants to rub off on stuff so I have to be very careful and I'm I'm glad that it's almost done because I do want to work through a bunch of my foundations and I think 15 uses will give me a good idea how I feel about this so that being said that is all of the items that I have in my collection I am very happy to have four rollouts I can't even believe four rollouts on this project Wow, I'm going to be running out of paper because this is all the room I have left. I was working off of this other side and it's almost all filled out already. So I'm trying so hard to write small and like squeeze my information in there. Um, I'm going to have to probably open up a new page soon because I'm just flying through these prompts. But I love this project. Andrea did such a fabulous, fabulous job. It makes me want to go and watch some. If you guys haven't watched Slap Tam, it is all about spooky, ooky things, UFOs, ghosties, paranormal, all all the things that you all the things that you can find in this project. It's creepy AF, but a lot of it you can tell is fake. But anyways, it's still interesting and it still gives me the heebie-jeebies. So go check out all that stuff. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out Andrea. And down below, if there's like a ghosty emoji or a skull or something like that, leave it down in the comments if you don't know what to say in the comments. I always love hearing from you guys. And it does make a difference because there will down the road be some giveaways. And I like to make sure that I can see that people are being consistent in my channel. I want to make sure that those people are the ones that are being noticed. So it does make a difference. I will see you down in the comments at some point, even if all you do is leave that emoji. At least I know you are there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a fabulous, fabulous day and I will see you in the next video. Bye everybody.